All right, peace, secret house. What's up? You know us. I'm Jet. He's Meg. You know the deal. Uh, and if you don't, welcome to the channel. Hey. Uh, Hip hop discussions. Um, just two guys talking about raps. Uh, usually three guys, but this year it's just been the two of us. Um, and yeah, today we're going to talk about the new album from Detroit MC legend El Zai and uh, Oh No from Oxnard, California, right? That's right. Yeah. Oxnard. I mean I think so. Uh, I mean, that's Mad Lib. Lost probably, Gates. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm assuming yeah, the two brothers. Uh, certainly one of the top two Michael Jacksons in music. <laughs> Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so one thing we like to do when we're reviewing an artist for the first time is we like to talk about where we know these artists from. So um, I guess we'll talk about Elzai and Oh No. Um, Elzai has been a permanent fixture in hip hop since I was like eight years old. So for me, he's mm. just someone who's kind of always been around. Word. Um, you know, obviously that whole Detroit scene, his stuff with house shoes, uh, you know, when he became a member of Slum Village, all this stuff happened during like my, you know, childhood into my teenage years. So for me, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I've just always been familiar with Elzai. I've always been an, a fan of his work. And um, I guess it's been a similar deal with Oh No. Like, I couldn't tell you what the first Oh No production I listened to was. Um, obviously, he often gets thrown into the conversation with his brother, but he's right. an incredible producer in his own right. That's right, um, yeah. I guess I, it's likely because my entry into alternative hip hop was through that early 2000s Stones Throw era. I probably did become familiar with Oh No through Mad Lib, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are both artists that I've been a fan of for a very long time now. And yeah. yeah. For me, like uh, um, Elza, I, I want to say that like I obviously heard him on like uh, early Slum Village work. You know yeah. what I mean? But uh, it must have been like a Detroit Deli. I think that's the one with Reunion on it. So yeah, I think that was the first time I really got into, like started noticing Elzai. And then where I really became a big fan of Elzai is with Elmatic. Yes. The, you know, and he single-handedly changed my idea about like the possibility of doing like tribute albums. Oh, I mean, you know Elmatic I mean? Like, is, I, I, I listen to Elmatic more than I listen to Illmatic today, which is probably there's like, blasphemous. But. There's like two songs that I listen to all the time from Illmatic, but Elmatic, I listen to so many other songs, yeah. but you know, that's just cause he's such a dope lyricist and also the production from um, Illmatic was so strong that when you put together a lyricist like Elzai with a producer or, or you know, Will production Sessions squad, it's, doing it's like fucking amazing. Production, live but, instrumentation, yeah. like the album's beautiful. It, it sounds yeah. so good. Um, Is yeah. this the second collaboration that no, uh, Ono and Elzai have done? Uh, I believe I, They've definitely worked so, together yeah. in the past, I mean, they've right? certainly worked together. Yeah. I'm pretty um, sure I know of Oh No through just his brother, like maybe Strong Arm uh, Steady, strong like arm the steady, Disrupt yeah. or, or something. But I always kind of, I, I kind of felt not bad for him because obviously he's super talented in a way. But I always noticed that he was kind of always under the shadow of his brother because Mad Lib um, is one of you know the best producers and most like respected and, and acclaimed um in in the history of hip-hop that i mean how it's it's hard to compete with that but i right. think that over the last you know uh decade or so uh oh no has managed to kind of create his own trajectory and his own projects and and he's you know a champion himself uh nowadays and and i actually i like this production on this album more than i've liked pretty much a lot of the yeah, mad lib shit that's come out this album is crazy for the production um qualities but i mean ono's uh, always done like he's always been really really good at doing bangers yeah like he's always been able to make things where the drums really smack and you can imagine you know yeah. just a really dope traditional mc like elzai yeah. flowing over the top of it even i remember i, I had um I had a promo CD for like an old fighting game maybe 12, 13 years ago that for some reason this Japanese studio based out in Yokohama had sourced Oh No to provide a bunch of remixes. Um, and it's like you have all these very like orchestral like fighting game tracks that have been chopped up and turned into like, you know, boom bap bangers. Uh, and someone like Oh No is, is probably quite uniquely capable of doing that. There's True pretty not a lot of producers that can, can freak that. the Blaze Blue soundtrack like that. So. Yeah. Oh no, it's great. Um, this, you know, this is a kind of like a, a long listen in the, in the producer MC uh, 
projects that Elzai often works within. He did uh, the project last year with, that we were going to review, but we didn't get to it with uh, Georgia Ann Muldrow, yes. um, Jericho Jackson, uh, the project he did with Crisis, like maybe 2018 or something. Super strong quality project. And um, I, I know that like, last year he released seven times down eight times up or whatever mm. i didn't really it didn't stick for me like that but this one i kind of can we can we should we yeah, get yeah, right down? Get i kind of feel like man like five tracks into this album and i was like oh shit this is the <laughs> fucking i five five songs in this album and i was like this is the best production that i've ever heard from no name he's no doing name. i mean oh, oh no shouts out to no name <laughs> yeah that's Patreon you know, those are people yeah Respect. you guys see the poster in the background in yeah yeah shouts and, out um but it's the first time i listened and i was like oh my god this is fucking amazing immediately i was like is this like an album of the year type of album five songs in because it's fucking great you always kind of know what you're going to get when you when you listen to you know uh when when you listen to with elzai yes. and this album has all the elements that any fan of elzai would look forward to you know this a, a extremely um prolific kind of intricate bar styles that are full of you know braggadocio cultural critiques um high level storytelling and, and he, just the flows like the the effortlessness yeah. of the flows on these on yeah. everything he does Elzai just makes it seem so easy and he just flies yeah. over these beats. I, I don't, I really don't understand it. He's the perfect, for me, he's the perfect balance of like a head nod MC and like a head still MC. Yes. You know, where you're just like, you're head nodding your head and it's like you have to stop to kind of like figure out what just happened. He, he, does this approach like his his inter rhymes are so crazy that it often feels like he's pulling off these crazy run-on sentences yes you think that the bar is supposed to like click there and then it goes on to a run-on sentence and then it just kind of like reconnects with the past like he is so incredible with that and always on beat always in the pocket always just there are there are a handful of mcs that make like you know uh, your more conventional conventional hip hop music right yes. like your your black thoughts your Royce the five nines and and these cats who are in the pocket of like not mainstream they're like that that like hip hop like they're making a living off crust, of their music you know? but at the same time like they're not in the charts yeah like maybe like they're ghost writing for larger names right. you know that's where the money's exactly. coming in like Sky Zoo and these type of cats who are just like Fontaine. whenever you talk about their ability to write it's just like they are both in they're always insanely unique but also kind of just like it, it's 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 different like they don't connect with a the part of the fan base that um like an Aesop rock connects no. with or an Eminem even connects with at times but these are the cats that if you are a hip hop head you're like if you want bars if you want rap bars this is where you go and Elzai, I, I i always have a battle in my head between like him and sky zoo right? right like i'm always just thinking about them in the same way and i'm not saying i'm comparing them but sometimes i'm like yo sky zoo's the illest when it comes to that and then mm -hmm. i'm like oh Elzai's the illest when it comes to that this album is incredible because just the combination of Elzai and the production approach that that um oh no does on this yep. this is an album it's super cohesive the way the tracks blend into each other the themes of the songs with the production of the songs i can't even tell if these are samples if this is live or uh, uh instrumentation, instrumentation or or whatever this is a fucking project and i was surprised with it because you know uh, my history of listening to oh no and even elza it's like usually it's strong projects with a cohesion but it's just kind of like word right this shit feels so incredibly deliberate that i don't know if oh no made the beats after hearing the verse or whatever but the way that these things are are put together is, is incredible the transitions between the songs are so seamless it just flows so effortlessly it's a very breezy listen 12 songs 36 minutes yeah. and i was just like blown away the entire time i didn't know if if it was like is that a beat switch or did the song change and then you right. start to hear the um you start to hear the concept it's like oh obviously a song change like uh an example of the type of like i'm going to tell you about the beats that i like but two examples that i really found interesting um 
were like the way that um, Bishop plays, right? Yeah. The song Bishop, which is essentially Elzai rapping from the perspective of Tupac's character Bishop in the movie Juice. Mm -hmm. And the way that the production is is put together on that track, it, it feels menacing, just like bishop in the movie it feels menacing it feels like it's continuing to move it's frantic it gets more and more deranged as the beat goes but it's also just like a really fucking dope beat but if you think about it in the context of the atmosphere they're creating fucking top tier and then if you listen to another song like um the twilight zone the twilight zone track um it's got these atmospheric elements and that, that are added to the beat that are just perfect it gives it kind of a paranoia and a vertigo that is all like cohesive to the type of rhymes and the story that elzai's putting together there are these concept tracks on the album like that and and most of them have like some larger theme some of them are just like yo i'm hella dope at rapping yeah. some of them are like yo i'm fucking sick and tired of this shit and that's whack too but man this project is wild for an end of the year project it fucked me up because now i'm like do i gotta kick somebody off my top 10 recency list recency bias is it i i like, don't think so dope? like it is yeah. like if you put on if you put on in your feelings right now mm. with um fucking with like dank that beat, dank, yep. that beat is just incredible in the bars oh my like the look i was kind of upset because i hate to have to do the legwork of rewinding a track 10 times to try to make sure i get the lyrics right nobody's put this shit on on rap genius or, no, or no. is it rap Gen or on genius yet oh, nobody's please. put these bars down and it's not like you can't hear them it's just like i i don't i don't know where the fan base is on this shit because mm. this is the like for all the old heads that are like yeah the fucking mumble rappers ain't shit that, that don't really be locked into hip-hop cultures like that they're still waiting for Busta Rhymes or somebody to fucking bring it back to the essence they're missing out on this level of type of cats because this shit is doper than oh my god that beat for in your feelings bro when I heard that I was like oh my god this is fucking <laughs> this is like that it, beat it is, is incredible. so it is so lush and vibrant and it, it's like is it a sample is it fucking all these things are coming in and out there's like a reprisal at the end and then it transitions perfectly into like a in, like it is incredible like trust me if you like fucking rap like if you're a fan of like black thought mm. it, like, you know what i mean like this is just it's like the roots but it's one guy it's like fucking yeah, yeah. crazy the production is so crazy and that's not even before you get to the bars if i was to, i i started right i only i should say maybe it is recency bias okay i've only listened to this album twice right i listened to it on the train which is where i was making my notes and then i was playing it this morning as i was cleaning up a little bit but every single time i turn around i'm like oh that's a quotable i should write that down what does yeah. he say i'm dishing harm Others pull a leg or twi try to twist your arm. I could write and fill two manuals on how to kill you animals using the skill to hunt, fish, and farm. Like harm, arm, animals, manuals. Like, <laughs> that sounds like you're doing farm. the Eminem impersonation. You, it's arm, crazy. Farm, animals, like, manuals. I, like, bro, the, the, the way it's so effortless, like trying to write his bars, I'm not even sure how to put the couplets the because the it's, couplets, like, yeah, yeah. it's like I, I wrote down like some of the shit is just like, all right, you rapping a rap, but you are also rapping a rap better than anybody has ever rapped to rap ever. That was mind blowing. Crack the skull that your spine go in. I don't <laughs> mind. Intertwine sewing from behind where your hairline sign showing signs of growing backwards where it's fractured because you lack the words how I define flow. I don't even know how to read it, but he's talking about like your hairline, a sew in, you know, like a like lace front. Like what is he doing on it? It's so crazy the way he just stacks and that's like that's like seven seconds of a fucking three four minute track it's a three and a half minute track and that's like seven seconds of it and he just bombs he just bombs elzai he he uh he uh he blew my mind it was mind-blowing shout the out to, to dankery hard spine. on that verse also yeah that dankery hard verse is fucking hard like i i guess i had never really given Dankery Hav, like the the time of day outside of the context of you know yeah, Frank and Frank Dank, Dank, Frank yeah. Nitty, and then Jay Dilla, of course, yeah. being a frequent collaborator. I guess I hadn't really been paying attention like that, but Dankery Hav's verse on this is fucking sick too. It's like dying. all of the features on here are fucking crazy. I kind of like yeah, and we don't even have that many features, right? We've it's got like, we've got Guilty Simpson, Blue, Gu 
Blue Blue is on this. Uh, oh no, has a verse. A person named Fez Rock, who I'm not familiar with. Yep. My bad. But yeah, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. But it, it's just really incredible. And you guys know me. You guys know that like I'm a 40 year old lifelong hip hop head, probably around the same age as Elzai. If you get to it, he's talking about like being around in '96. That's kind of where I was just like starting to write graffiti, starting to break, starting to be a part of hip hop culture and shit. And I love and I love the kind of cultural critiques that Elzai also brings to this album. I love when a cat criticizes the culture in in a way that it's coming from a person of the culture so it's not like some you know like rap music is always talking about money and bitches yeah, and yeah. and and sluts and all these type of things it's like yeah a, a lot of people point to rap music as some type of kind of you know anti-social like really bad narrative but there is also people within the culture who are actually kind of on the same lines as what fucking c dolores tucker was talking about what and you guys know i'll be on my c dolores tucker shit was right it wasn't so much that it was wrong for people to say that it was just that like this type of art that recreates and, and matriculates to the community, especially the black community, may have some tremendous negative effects. Now, that's not to say that fucking video games don't or whatever, but I love with when, when a hip hop head is like really going off on like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like, what is this shit about? Like, it used to you we used to have ethics, we used to have values, and they've all slid, and everybody's become just concerned about fucking making money, and yeah. and that's fine because we all got to live. I like I get it, get your money, but I mean like, where's like on on R.I.P. Radio International programming with Guilty Simpson. Yeah, he just mad, and even Elzai's voice <laughs> yeah. on that shit don't sound. No, it doesn't sound like it's, he's not smooth like nah, he normally he's is. He's kind of like ang- like he it's like he slide woke in up like he normally does. Yeah, it's like he woke up or didn't go to sleep. But you know he he's just calling shit out, and and I like it. He like he literally says, "Why y'all do that? Yo, tell me why y'all do that." <laughs> like he's upset on it, and I I like it. He said, "Look what y'all did. Y'all crippled the most." educated creative storytelling body rocking mind boggling wine gargling grimy report news reports with ebonics you know what i mean and Mm. and and like that's one thing but he also does at the same time have some takes on there that's just like yo like you know like, calm down you don't gotta trip yeah, on all I mean, these things uh, like, last note whatever, is also you know. like a bit yeah. like oh okay yeah I, I also don't like waiting in line at the dmv oh last yeah. last nerve is that that's really him on like you know what grinds my gears? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. toe stubs grind my gears. I hate gr- like what else he be on on that shit? Like uh, uh, people getting his orders wrong at the, like his meals. That's dope. I mean, it's hip hop. Like, but but he is on that. He is uh, he is to to be now that I think about it, he he's a little bit more angry. Yeah, angry. He's not just, is, yeah. is it anger that I'm looking for? Uh, is that the word? Frustrated, perhaps there's, he's a little bit. There's more... a bit more fire under his under his yeah. butt than the normal. Like I feel like Elzai traditionally, he's always been someone who just like slides in very effortlessly. You know, yeah. he just he, he raps over these beats with such finesse and makes it seem so easy. He's always been yeah. like an ice skater, but he's kind of yeah. stomping around on some of these yeah, tracks. Yeah, yeah, he definitely he's you know a, kicking like kicking figure. dirt on people, and he doesn't he doesn't go so far to point at anybody in particular or or name names, but you kind of get that that you you kind of get that by the time you get through the the album oh, you know a lot of his career is based upon like braggadocio i'm yep. dope this is why you're whack that's a big part of it too you know hip-hop and he does that but you know with a song like r.i.p radio international program and last nerve it's clear that it's clear that you know he's as frustrated with with aspects of hip-hop culture is um all the past generations are, I would say. Like, you know, I think the only people who aren't frustrated, well, even 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 like the the what is it, Gen Z kids and shit, yeah, they're yeah. probably looking around like, yo, this is kind of like boring derivative too. There, we just have a lot of that in hip hop culture. But me as an old head, I, I love to hear it, and I like to I like it when it comes from somebody who's got the accolades and the ability to put it out. Because hearing KRS One. Or, you know, Chuck D. somebody point at it like that's not it, it sounds like old head shit. And even maybe maybe with me, I, I'm, I'm 40. So I guess I'm an old head, but I still I don't know. I don't feel like an old head. What? But but I definitely have some differences between, uh, you know, the the Gen Z and the Generation Alpha kids. Like, it's just, you know, that's the nature of 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 history and shit. But, mm. you know, there's so many dope 
a lot Tra- of dub cuts on here. The production. I, I want to take a moment also to to shout out the production on Possessed because there's oh, yeah. like a, I don't know, it, like in Ableton there's like the screamer effect. I don't know if he's used like a tube screamer pedal, like if Ono's used like hardware to do this sound, but it's like there's just this little bit of like distortion over the mm. whole beat, but it's also like a rhythmic and melodic element to it. It doesn't just feel like noise, um, and it yeah. like I don't know, it felt like a brain massage to me, um, yeah. and obviously Elzai's going crazy that- on there. Um, yeah, that 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 song, like, like all the, the songs are crushed. pretty dope. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, as soon as I put it on, I just skip ahead and it's like, oh, yep. Yeah, like this beat is so dope. Like the 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 shit is like possessed, like getting people to turn their heads and their heads flip. you know what i mean like he's <laughs> just so crazy so incredible with it like every single i i uh i walked away from this album like yeah this is why i don't rap this is why i don't this, this is why i don't this really those, this is why yeah, i don't this is this is one of those like, l's i inspired me to quit yeah, rapping type yeah shit. it's, like, it's yeah. just like like you know you listen to i don't care how nice people say Nas is or Jay or or name it like this listen to this hold on Jay walking caught like hip down with they talking homicide stay chalk and those talk and pray pay crossing Jay that's Jay walking costing them they life not taking caution and getting hit while hearing move bitch get out the way honking even as a kid I did my thing and slip he he's so fucking nice like crossing Jay Jay walk his name is Jason Powers right like yeah. hit by the car cut, like cause a casualty hit by the car like Yelling, get out the way, honk. Try to twist the arm. I can write and fill two manuals on how to kill you animals using the skill to hunt fish and farm. They would rather hear I'm in the rain soaking, rain on chain smoking, pain spoken in the song with a strong vein poking out my head like a cling on his fist, bought up the swing on a star fleet containing a train evoking. That's how you feel. Yeah, like I just, just don't, I don't get it, bro. Like, the way that he can struck rhymes, I'm telling you this, like these inter rhyme run on sentences. I don't know how you like how, how to do fucking, it without yeah. sounding contrived or like right. like he's even yeah. trying. Just the yeah. reason the reason that like I used to write on a, a pad, right, and I would I would divide the I would do three lines, mm. and that way I could kind of keep a meter of like where the words are supposed to be. I don't know how he does it, but Sinking, alcohol drinking, Bro. Stinking, listen to listen to the the beat on bishop right we all know the story of this we all know i should have worn a bishop shirt a huh. bishop bishop shirt i'm fucking up but um, to this joint yeah like if 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 you if you know the story you know how more and more deranged tupac appears to be in that movie and then you just hear this beat and it's just like wait hold on production on this yeah. just that rising yeah. like crescendo kind of like discordant keys like so wild twilight zone right is another insane beat they drop me off let me strand it on the east side took me to where they said there's all these little like extra elements to the beat tire skirting off as they banging gang attire willing to die for a certain cloth they drove past me the driver sees me i double back hopped the fence and landed in some feces next to this crackhead who got into a karate yeah. dance in a musty metallica shirt and dusty pilates pants my first thought was to go in the dead yeah he goes off like I mean like it's it's cinematic yeah. everything on this album is incredible i i uh thoroughly impressed i like this album uh I, the last time i liked it and elzai album this much is like even the gerald co jackson which i really love mm. like this one is just this immediately shot up and it could be recency bias you know i love a lot of music and shit but man some of these some of these beats are just like 
who who is top, top who, three tracks who, who's god is responsible um i'm gonna go uh, in your feelings mm. easily number one see i had a, i had a hard time figuring it out maybe um maybe fireballs okay and maybe smoke okay yeah we're, we're smoke. two two out of three on this one i yeah. went with in your feelings possessed fireballs yeah why I put hip hop aside of a closed casket? See, this don't sound like L. He was a little bit upset on this shit. Yeah, pay attention, do the math, do the knowledge, man. L's eye is like one of the illest. And if you guys aren't paying attention to this shit, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Hip hop ain't never been even close to dead. Capitalism out. fucked up a lot of shit, but come on, figure it out. Shouts out to all the friends of the show. Shouts out to Culture's Press. Shouts out to the Sonic Cloth Podcast. Shouts out to Rap Music Plug Pod. No Name Book Club and all of our patrons who I guess are on the screen right now. Uh, yeah, Secret they House. Are on the screen support right now. independent underground hip hop and support the independent mainstream adjacent hip hop. Support Elzai, support uh, Sky Zoo, support Fonte, support Black Thought, support Pharaoh Monch. Like, yeah, hip hop is crazy. not dead. It's, it's, it's never wow. been dead. The only people that said that are people that either killed it or try to kill it. Or, <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna get into it. Yeah, I won't get into it because I was a little. I was like, Nah, you did it. I mean, it was like you. Nah, but I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta get jiggy with it. I guess. Secret but house. All right. You know they're gonna copyright strike the motherfucker. You see, that's the thing too. You, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people, they make their content. And they're like, Oh, I can't use any of the music because then they're not gonna let me monetize my channel and I won't be able to make a living off of talking shit about other people's hard work. I don't care. Copyright yeah. strike this shit. I gotta tell y'all why it's dope. That's the purpose. We go to Patreon if you want to give us money. Yeah, support us, man. Support us. That's what I was against. Tokyo Bass, hip hop art and culture. To the left. To the left of album reviews. Those who put their money where they chief were pushed out of Mother Earth before Father Tom can bury them beneath her. Push out of Mother Earth before Father Tom can bury. Come on, man.